His rears actually look really good. All right, rear brakes are done. We're stuck in second gear, buddy. Well, that's not good. All right, guys, what is going on? So we're back with the 86 F250. This is my new shop truck. If you guys haven't seen the first two videos of this truck, I highly recommend watching them. I take this truck. It sat for 20 years at my grandma's house, and we got it running and driving for the first time. Now in this video, we're actually gonna dive into the brakes, some of the suspension, the engine. We're gonna make sure this thing's actually reliable enough to take on the street. So hopefully in the end of this video, we get some street time on this thing and see if the transmission actually works. Cause that was the reason this thing was parked 20 years ago is supposedly the third and fourth gear or some of the gears in the transmission let go. I did get this to shift into second, driving it around here, but I've not tested third or fourth. So that should be the goal of this video is we're actually gonna take it out on the street, see if it'll actually drive, see if the brakes work, see if the transmission works. If not, we do have a ZF five speed behind me and a couple other goodies to throw on this thing. So with that being said, let's get into the video so for those who are new here these are definitely polar opposites so this is my 71 f100 this has a 500 horsepower small block ford that i built in it Tramac five speed this is a pretty much street truck this is a mustang with an f100 body basically is what you're looking at and this is the exact polar opposite however these have the exact same engine this is a 302 and that is also a 302 and these were both flat top at 302s the only difference was this is a 50 ounce setup so this is kind of a weird option truck 86 being the only year of fuel injection there is a badge on the back i can kind of think I can show it it's really really close but you can see right here this is a fuel injected truck which is really rare it's a one year only I saw a couple guys message me out about having like a late late 85 that was EFI which is pretty cool so you guys have been sending a lot of your trucks in because I know a lot of you guys have the bull noses so it's really cool this is actually my favorite generation the holy trinity in terms of these style trucks you have the bull nose the brick nose and the OBS and a lot of people like the OBS's but I don't think the bull noses get enough credit these are the trucks that I like this is the generation that I like of those three that is so and this thing has a killer patina there's not a single dent in the this entire truck my uncle was very very good at taking care of his trucks and there's not a single dent all the way down the side of this truck so i cannot wait to see what this thing buffs out like we're definitely going to be doing that in a later video and this is a lariat so it does have a lariat badge right there uh, you can also see it has a crazy red interior so unfortunately the dash got destroyed in transport it was in the bed of my truck with a bunch of other stuff and it ended up getting thrown out accidentally so but it was pretty much trashed anyways but dome light still works headliner still good seat needs to be redyed but there's not a tear in it these things are comfy i can vouch for that but i do have new door panels for it so we have a lot of stuff for it. Overall, I'm really stoked with this thing. So you can see the engine bay looks like crap. We definitely need to clean it, but I think the first thing we need to do is get this little mouse, mouse nest out of there. A bunch of that keeps lighting on fire every time I start it. So a whole bunch of stuff to do. So I'm gonna go and jack this thing up, get it up on stands, get the brakes parts that we do have on it. Hopefully make the brakes work so we can drive it. like that look at the pad that's mint that's it oh what the hell yeah <laughs> it's kind of weird it does need pads never mind it's kind of weird oh it's a dual piston oh oh that's an idea yeah. i think that rotor will clean right up that kind of moving it's just like falling a little bit beautiful oh yeah look at all those black widows in there <laughs>
welcome to the edumacation show we take broken stuff and we make it less broken so uh it's labor day and we're doing labor on labor day nobody's open to resurface these and i want to drive my truck so i'm going to resurface them the, the efficient way so i have pad that makes stuff clean rusted piece of shit rotor yeah this is going to take all damn day i can already tell i want to make sure you make it nice and uneven I'd say those look pretty good. Done. All right, so no joke. If you're actually like curious about this, this is not something I recommend unless you absolutely have to. But, 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 this is how you're gonna crack the code. So, if you wanna drive your truck, everywhere's closed, and you wanna make sure you're not wasting a bunch of money on this, so I actually took, this is like a paint stripping wheel. So this is actually really not as aggressive as it may look. So this is like if you're gonna strip paint and you wanna clean metal. It doesn't eat metal, it just cleans it. So all it's doing is taking all the corrosion off of this rotor. But you can see the pitting's still there. I didn't sand through the pitting, which is good. I just wanted to give myself a nice clean surface. So I took that with this wheel. That wheel right there. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, you go ahead and you sand this thing down, and then what you do is go ahead and see in your new pads. If you get pads from AutoZone, which is, I don't really like AutoZone personally, but I go there. I got a Duralast pad. They have a lifetime warranty on the pad. So what you can do, use your brand new pads that you just spent 30 bucks on, go seat them in, and actually surface this rotor with the pads. And all you gotta do is swap out the pads again, and you're good. So it's like the super mega uber cheap way to do it. You can pretty much do a full brake job for 30 bucks. So that's basically what I did. <laughs> if you don't want to surface them and pay to have them surface or buy new rotors or spend two, $300, you can take a crappy rotor like that, get it to this state, throw it on the truck with a brand new set of pads, go drive the crap out of it and seat them again, and then go ahead and swap the pads out and you're good to go. So yeah, and it's free. <laughs> so what are we doing, Quag? We're pulling the pistons back and just really excited. Mm. <laughs> Why are you laughing, man? It just breaks. It's brake fluid. Yeah, it just breaks. No big deal. Yeah. Okay. Jesus Christ. Stop laughing! You're making a mess. This is serious, man. Mm. <laughs> this is a destructional video, man. Get out of here. It is. Okay. Uh, I can't have unprofessional people like you around here, man. Unprofessional people riding. <laughs> oh. Alright, now tell them who you are. Lisa. This is perfect. See, ladies, Craig isn't very good at turning things on. Turn them on and tell them what your name is. My name is. <laughs> my name is Craig, and I like to blow bubbles. Hi, my name is Bubbles. That's good. This has 54 grams of sugar. Yep, that's what we're looking at. Trying to put this thing back together. Gonna throw a little bit of grease on the thing. Does stuff. You wear gloves, putting bearing grease on, brother. Okay. That is I was gonna repack these bearings, but I'm just gonna keep saying this. This is a super temporary setup, so I don't really care. And if I die, I die. I guess I could put a little more. Yeah. The sound effects make the process go faster. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna regret that. Oh my gourd. Mm. Mm. That, there's that, there's that, 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 and that. Beautiful. Okay. I don't remember what side went where, so I'm just gonna start putting it together. Oh, this is definitely the other side. I was like, something's not right. The wheel's gonna hit the line. Brakes installed, man. They still don't stop. <laughs> okay, I haven't actually looked at These rears actually look really good. All right, rear brakes are done. That was easy. Okay, so I had, I've had this plate for like years and years and years and it's been in the wrap for so long that when i take the wrapping off it took the paint off the bottom look at it it like melted the paint but that's perfect for the vehicle that it's going on here let me paint it a little more gotta make it match the truck right take the rest of the wrap i should like peel the rest of the paint off oh there goes the rest of the paint on the bottom sweet that's perfect throw it in the trash can so I gave the other one I had to Ethan and it's on his bump side and it's like very proper because it's patinaed and like, like you know, it looks really good on this truck. But I might have to swap them out. This one's a little too nice. Way too nice for this truck. <laughs> just increase the value greatly. Actually, no, it's crooked. So that's actually perfect. I just got to slip and just drive the screwdriver down the side of it. Whoops. Whoopsie. 
it would be perfect. We'll leave the crappy rusty bolts that don't thread in. Oh yeah, oh yeah, beautiful. Should I leave it nice and loose so I just listen to it the whole time? Yep, I'm sure that's gonna be your uh, biggest concern. Yep, the license plate rattle, yeah. Not the brakes or the fact that the tranny doesn't work, but I've seen the license plate rattle, man. Totally. The radio does work in this piece of crap, actually. Yeah, and listen to the static of whatever Mexican station comes in, because that seems to be the only thing that comes in around here. Better than imminent doom. Yeah. <laughs> Test if the brakes work. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die. See, now it works. I bet everyone in the last video was like, dude, that thing. That thing runs like crap, man. But no, dude, listen, it's too great. Oh, dude, that tape is totally good. Yeah, you need me to move that? Huh? You need me to move that? Probably. I think it's just pulled yeah. all the way over I do think the booster's gonna take a poop. This is our first legal drive with, oh, they work. Yeah. They're working. Brakes are definitely, brakes work. Yeah, they're working. Yeah, you got chicken. Hey. You're doing pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> this is JC, our tire guy. If you ever need tires, man, hit him up. He hooked us up with the stuff on this, got them all swapped out. He's the one that redrilled these wheels. So a lot of you guys wonder, like, you know, who redrills wheels? He does. Okay, right, count first. Second. Okay. I forgot I gotta seat the new pads. Ooh, you smell them? Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, rear's locked up. Second. Oh, we're stuck in second gear, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's time for the big uh... Dude, the booster's trash. Also, the steering wheel you joined is pretty, pretty I nice. think this truck is trash. You shut your mouth. <laughs> She's running good, though. She's actually... All of her legal documents stay there. Yeah, I don't think their gear works. Is that? That's neutral. Yep. Yeah, we're back in second. That blows. Oh my gosh, the brake pedal just went to the floor. It's gotta be the booster. It's gotta be the yep. booster. I think it has a vacuum leak somewhere, because we haven't checked anything on this. Nope. Ah, oh, no, we're done. Yeah, she's done so. Yep, he wasn't lying. God, the brake pedal keeps going to the floor. They work fine. It just keeps going to the floor. We've bled them twice. So this is 40. Yeah, no, we're done. Oh! Oh, yep. Yeah. Never mind, I lost all the gears. Oh, man, I lost brakes. Oh, come on, stop, please. I lost second two there for a second. You feel that? Yep. We should probably check the fluid. Let's start by doing that. Wait, I thought you checked fluid. Nah. Oh. It's probably for, yeah. Dude, it doesn't even try to shift. See, if it was low on fluid, even if I lifted, it would still shift, and then when I got back on throttle, it would it would fall back down again, but it's not, dude, it's not even doing that. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, she's not working. She's a two-speed. <laughs> he said, wait, a tortilla, dude. That's yeah. the flight to bring it in. <laughs> Yeah, race, right? race is over. Yeah. I forgot to take the mouse nest out of the truck that's probably on fire. Oh, I can smell it now. Now that we're stopped. Oh, I yeah. Smell it? I take it back, yeah. Smell the smelly smell? Mm -hmm. That smelly smell that smells? Well, that's not good. Let's pretend that that wasn't there. I want to pretend like putting fluid in this is going to bring two more gears back. All right, moment of truth. Ready? Yeah. Ah, actually, oh, let me get some shade in It's there. It's low. Yeah. Oh, she's low, all right. It's supposed to be right there. So I'm gonna dump a cord in it and see if a gear magically comes up. I almost.
almost guarantee it's not, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Alright, so I got a bunch of garbage that I've had for a long time. I'm just gonna put it in there. I think it's like Mercon. I don't know. It's red. It's some sort of auto junk. I'm just gonna put the other one in it and just oh yeah. We're just gonna pretend that this is gonna magically make a gear appear. I don't know if I'm dumping it all over the floor, but uh, I think you're, it's, you're making it. Yeah, in. I think it's going in. This is the good stuff, man. I have no idea if this is like old stuff or. I mean, you know, it's old when like the oils have gotten to, to the logo so much, you like write in Sharpie somewhere on the bottle what it is. Can you uh, write on Sharpie on that one? Type F. Okay. It's the cheapest tranny rebuild ever, man. Oh, yeah. She's way over full now. It was like right. How am I supposed to see that? Oh, there you just, go. We'll just pretend it's full. Okay. It, it was yeah, a little bit over, but we're not going to look at it. It has enough fluid in it. Just put it out. All right, round two. We're going to see if the... Someone's going to yell at me because I'm talking like that. I'm just going to stop. I'm very optimistic right now, as you can tell. Is that okay? Oh, man, it's gone again. I don't think they're working. The brakes work. I have to put a manual in it. Oh darn. <laughs> oh yeah. No, well, they're not working. First automatic. And I blew it up already. <laughs> now we're gonna do a little brake testing on. <laughs> Dude, the rears lock up bad. <laughs> maybe we should have bled the freaks the front oh, ones maybe. again. <laughs> Did we do a burnout at least? I gotta pump them? Yeah, the brakes are just dog water. Transmission ain't trannying and then brakes aren't braking. Hey, the engine's engineering. Engine's engineering though. Dude, it's not, look at the temp. It's not even like, even on the line yet. Are you sure the gauge is working? No, but I'm gonna pretend it is because if I pretend and it is, then we're, we're good, we're chilling. Uh, okay. Dude, she's spicy. Kaboom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> throws a rod. Hey, motor engine's bad <laughs> now. <laughs> I know when these tires are on Michael's IDI, there's absolutely zero chance that they ever did this. So I just wanted to document it before Chaz has to come underneath here and buff this thing out and be like, why is there burnout rubber underneath here? It did a pretty crap burnout to be honest, but what can I ask for a truck that sat for 20 years? It's got almost 200,000 miles on a stock 302 with probably like 350 gears. But she's oil, dude. She's a unit. The brakes like, it's weird. They like don't work and now they're working great. But I know if I get in it again and go to like, you know, a crosswalk in a school zone, I'm screwed. <laughs> they're just not going to work. <laughs> But yeah, it's okay. We're not we're not anywhere near that. So now we're really kind of tossing up if we should just take the tranny out now or if we should go and detail it and clean it so we have a nice clean truck to work on, which would make way more sense. So I don't really know. We're either going to detail it next or pull the tranny and start doing the five-speed swap. But it does drive, it does run, it does move, it does do stuff. But there's, it's like now this is like, okay, step one, done. Thing works, operates, moves, stops, starts. Legal. It is legal. It is insured. It's registered and ready to go. So I can use it for around town stuff if I just want second gear. It isn't horrible. If you're not doing over 50, you should be fine. I mean, the stoplights are so close together, you're yeah. only going to be up a second yeah, anyway. Yeah, it's a drag race to every single one of them. Yeah. <laughs> so it's got, it's got a power glide in it, so it's basically a race car. Yeah, well, I guess we'll see where we want to go, and we're either going to detail in the next video, or we're going to pull the tranny out, so one of the two. Either way, they both need to get done, so. But I think it would be nice to have a clean truck. <laughs> hey. <laughs> the heck was that? That's less than ideal. <laughs> I was going to neutral drop it, but I didn't even need to. I broke the brakes already. So I think the wheel cylinder sat, sat for 20 years is not having a good time. That's future Craig's problem is what that is. Alrighty, well that one about as successful as I thought it would. So this is now a two-speed power glider, which is pretty nice. So it's basically a drag car now. Nevertheless, I guess we gotta take the tranny out. Either way, valve cover gaskets are bad, they're leaking oil, as well as the rear main seal decided to delete itself. So all of which the transmission needs to come out. So we're just gonna go and skip that step and just go straight into it. So in the next video, we're gonna do a bunch of stuff on the engine, exhaust, get the transmission out, start putting the pedal assembly that I have for this thing, and the ZF5 with the dual PTOs. So a bunch of stuff to go into this thing. 
in a lot of different parts. So with that being said, I hope you guys wanted to enjoy today's video. It did do a pretty good burnout in forward and reverse, which is kind of cool. Either way, it's a great truck, runs great, drives great, stops kind of decent, okay, I guess. The brakes kind of still suck, but either way, we got a bunch of crap we got to fix on it. So with that being said, I hope you guys wanted to enjoy today's video. Drop a like, I don't know if you did. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Grab your merchandise at 909 Speed Company if you want to support me in the builds, and I'll see you guys in the next video. The Bull Nose.